Okay, okay it's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. I'm joined by Albert. Hi there. Albert, shake you my hand. Um, you are the brewer, head brewer of Petrus. Owner. Of Own, owner. Owner of, of Petrus. Owner Brewery. of the De Brabander Brewery. So it used to be named Bavik before, but uh, a year or two ago I changed it back to the old name, the family. Okay, fantastic. Um, what do we have here? If I show the bottle, you explain the beer. So uh, we're talking about the Petrus H Pale. Uh, Petrus H Pale is actually a beer that has been aged on footers for two years. It's a high fermented beer uh, we put in there and we're in the inside of our fooders actually we have seven different families of wild yeast and bacteria which will transform the non-fermented sugars into sours right. and later on higher alcohols and uh, esters. So that's going to give you a very sour beer, yep. however at the same moment complex with those fruity notes coming in. And I understand that Michael Jackson had a bit of a story with his beer. Would you like to? Would yeah. you like to spill the beans? Yeah, yeah. yeah, just like a lot of Belgians, uh, my father was very stubborn in the past, and he still is, by the way. Still working together with him now, and then we use that beer only for blending into our Petrusard Brun. Petrusard Brun is actually a blend of one third of the Petrus H pale yeah. and two thirds Young Brown beer. And what we did is. We brought it like that on the market. It was a typical Flemish red-brown ale, yeah. uh, which was famous in the 80s mainly in Belgium. And um, Michael Jackson dropped it by in brewery a couple of times, and every time he wanted to taste that beer, the blending beer, directly from the fooders. And uh, every time again he asked my father to taste it pure and bring it on the market. However, my father wasn't too willing for that. He said, consumers are not ready for this. But it's difficult to say no to Michael Jackson yeah, three absolutely, times. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So when it got launched to the market, I, I expect it was a massive success. Yeah, uh, Michael Jackson had to take a full footer for himself. Uh, that was the only reason why my father would do it. And it was done like a one-off just to get rid of Michael Jackson in a sensible way, in a gentle way. And he said, okay, he's not going to accept that. But he said, yes, yes, where should I sign? Let's go for it. Right. And since then, we couldn't stop it anymore. So every year, again, we have to add six more footers. Uh, so we added six more last year. We're going to add six more at the end of this year uh, to get capacity up because we do it all the way on the footers. So uh, no cutting corners there. Let's give the beer a try. We've done lots of talking. Let's dive in. Cheers. Wow. Wow. Explain what I'm tasting. This is just so kind of puckering, mouth puckering. It's, it's lemon, it's horseback blanket, it's yeah, it's, over it's to pretty you. tart indeed. You. So you get that sourness straight away into your mouth. Mm. And yeah. However, it's not too aggressive either. So I want to limit it as well, so it has to be sour. However, it hasn't got to be vinegar. Yeah, because if it's just vinegar, people won't appreciate it. Then it's good to pour over a salad for me. Yeah, and that's what I do sometimes. Uh, too bad, but not with ours. Um, but then you get that whole mixture of complex feelings, complex tastes of fruit getting in there, apple, pear. Yeah, uh, together with that yeah. tart, it's giving it very complex uh, layers. It's it's a play of layers, and then. At the very end, to get that horse blanket sticking around there, Absolutely. being very chewy, and uh, and that's what I like about it. But it's also fun to play around. With. Fantastic beer, fantastic beer. Uh, many thanks for joining me. You're welcome. Um, I want I'm going to give you a tip as well. Start blending it with our other beers. I will. The Bruno the H Red. We give the power to the consumer. That's our whole idea. Now. Uh, one more thing before we go. I'm going to meet you tomorrow at the at the, the festival. Yeah. Viewers, keep an eye out because Mr. Petrus is going to bring us something rare from his brewery. Yeah, we're going to get in the 1894 starting Excellent. year of the brewery. Excellent. Thanks for watching. Cheers, Thanks guys. for joining me. Cheers.